Hi and welcome back to my channel, I'm Erica and in today's video we're going to be having a look at some Picket Fan Studio stuff. I thought this was a cute idea to put the sticker on my t-shirt but it doesn't really show so we're gonna try this maybe. Nah, that's stupid. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna be skipping the sticker idea. But we are going to be talking about the Picket Fence Studios release, which is insane. Again, I, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so it's so big that in fact, um, I'm just going to kind of like skim through some stuff here and then I'm going to show you what I've used to make some cards because otherwise we'll be here all day. So, first of all, um, so brand new to the Picket Fence line is some um, layering dies. So we have Billy the Gnome and Chili the Gnome. So you can like cut out the bits and pieces and actually build your gnomes. So that's fun and cute. I haven't actually opened these yet, so that's on my to-do list. And then we have more of, well, two more of the like seamless stamps. So the spooky spiders, if you like that creepy curly stuff. And then we have um, nesting dolls. And with the nesting dolls, there's actually a, a die cut as well. So you can cut some out and like layer them up and make a really fun, fun card. So I have ideas for that as well, but of course, not enough time. And then we have a, um, a gnome Christmas stamp set. Let's see if I can find a little bit of white cardstock here so you can actually see something. So there's some cute little sort of gnomey like stamp, uh, sentiments and things to go with your gnomes. And then we have another seamless stamp set. So uh, this one is all the girl, girl. <laughs> all the guards. Yes. So it will seamlessly go that way or that way. Super cool. And then we have stencils. Stencil. I love stencils. Ooh, okay. So first off, we have a um, jack o' lantern six by six stencil. And uh, so in this, you can either use just this bit here or you can use this one or this bit here as well so there are lots of ways of using this one and then next up there's two sort of christmasy wintry themed ones so we have arctic winter and then we have hand cut snowflake die so this is the six by six and then there is also a slim line and then there is also a reverse so you have the positive and the negative or the negative and the positive I just did the same thing didn't I so one of each and then there is a winter forest scenery stencil so you can build up uh, like with your little trees and there's a bear and a howly wolf no hang on wolf and some clouds and uh, bits and pieces. So with this, you also get the negative cutout and there is also masks here. So if you want to block off something, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's a big word die, Merry Christmas. This has got a lovely font on it as well. And then we're gonna go to the stuff that I have actually made cards with. And I make quite a few cards. That's just, it's just like, once I get on a roll, why stop the train? Hmm? So first off, there is a Slimline Reverse Leaf Stencil. And there is actually one um, that was released. I mean, it's like out of 2021 now. So I don't know if it was released in like 2020, the, um, you know, time warp that I was. But the, um, so this one is the reverse of the Slimline Leaf Stencil. So we have one that is that size. And then now that we have the opposite, I hope that made sense because I'm not sure it did. But I have used it here with some ink blending and I haven't actually finished this one off, but mm. so many projects, so little time. But I didn't make two cards with it. So uh, on both of these, I have actually used a new uh, ombre paper color mix. Paper color mix? Paper glaze mix. And this one is called uh, Pumpkin Spices. So you have a light sort of gold and then like a sort of nutmeg -y dark gold. And um, I don't know what you would call this one. Persimmon, maybe? Yeah. So um, mix and match all three or one or two. And you make some, get some fantastic cards. So you can see as well, like with the paper glaze. I love the paper glaze. Such fun. 
So I've just like put it on like quite, like sort of slapped it on so you get nice texture. I like that. And oh, the shimmer. Mm. And I didn't use them in the sort of like in the same order here. So I tried to actually match it to like the ink on my ink blended panel. I thought that was kind of cute. But um, on this one, now this is I brought a pair up in case the face wasn't didn't give it away. So on here I have actually uh, I don't know if I'm a bit to show you this, but this is actually done on acetate for a really cool look. So uh, where's the camera? There it is. Can you see? So I don't know why I put this on the white card base actually to be honest, because I think it would have looked really cool as a clear card. But next time. Image to self. Okay, so uh, on this one as well, I've stamped it with a, or finished it off with a stamp set from the Fancy Autumn Sentiments. So we're gonna get, get a piece of white cardstock so you can see. There we go. And um, let's uh, move on because we have lost the card. Next, there is a, uh, I don't wanna say cute, but it is so cute. So look at those ghosts. So these are not solid, so you can see there's kind of like little flex. So it's not like a super, super solid image. But what I did was I stamped it up first with black ink and then I heat embossed that with clear. And then I've ink blended kind of like glow in the dark, oh, ghoulish uh, colors. And finished it off with some of the sentiments from the stamp set as well as some bling bling bling. You can see that. So the second card is done uh, with, it's kind of done in a similar way, but on this one, I have actually used something new from WOW Embossing called Ultra High Black Embossing Powder. I really should know that better, but it's a black embossing powder anyway, and it's ultra high, so it gives like extra texture and dimension. So try that. And then I just added a little bit of like a black framing on that to kind of make sure that they were not both the same and similar you know but and next we have a, a scarecrow cover a plate die this one i really 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 like so i made um three cards with this one so the first one is a sort of faux shaky card almost i mean it is a shaky card but it's not like one of those technically difficult shaky cards so I don't know if you follow my friend Ilda Diaz. Uh, she her Instagram handle is I love all things crafty. So she came up with this idea of like pockets for shaker cards. Brilliant, genius. So I don't have any of those yet, but I kind of MacGyvered my own one by using a card bag, like a little. I think they just called card bags actually, and so I've folded it over and shaped it so to the back of um, my card size of oh, card base and then I glued that whole thing down onto um, purple cardstock to kind of frame it a little bit but I thought that was kind of cute and this one is also the um, there's a new sequin mix and I had it right in front of me so this is trick-or-treaters and he has like little jack-o'-lanterns and little black and yellow moons as well. So it's a really, really cute little mix. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And it's also finished off with a sentiment from the autumn, uh, fancy autumn sentiment. So, um, no. Yes. Fancy autumn sentiments. So wonderful. And then next up, I have two very similar cards. Well, I say similar, but I mean, they're done in similar ways and um, but different colors. So I have made a sparkly shimmer card stock with paper glazes. So you can see like the scarecrow and that one there. Um, and then I've just used the cover plate, cut them out and um, adhered them to ink blended background. So we have some gold splatters because I love gold splatters. And then I added some black and yellow splatters on this one with Distress Oxide Sprays. So that's those. And then last but not least, and this I am super 
are excited about. There is a brand new uh, product. Oh yes, you heard it here. This is called Paper Glitz. And it's like the Paper Glitz has gone on like a glitter, glitter steroids almost. It's insane. So have a look at that. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. So this is that stuff just slapped on white cardstock. There is no color underneath. There's no ink blending, nothing. It's just paper glitz. So we have, okay, so from left to right or left, right, right, right. Anyway, from this way to that way, we have snowdrift. So a lovely blue and traditional Christmas green mm -mm -mm. and fall gold. So that's this one here. And then we have uh, autumn persimmon. So this one here and true Christmas red Ooh, with a little bit of lime on top. So that's this one here. And look at those colors there. Then there's two more colors. So there is lime Christmas green and sparkle. Ooh, sparkle. So this one is white. And uh, I made a card <laughs> with sparkle, of course. So I used the slimline rainbow stencil and I just added the sparkle through the stencil on top of an ink blended background and then added some mermaids. And It's like beyond, beyond. Oh, I'm so excited. And um, so this stuff is um, again also hand mixed by paper, um, paper glaze. <laughs> the makers of paper glaze. So paper glaze and the paper glaze are all hand mixed by Picket Fence Studios themselves. And it's okay. So I'm gonna game face. So each one of these have like four to seven different shades of glitter and it's a mica based paste as well so you're not just going to kind of get like glitter where it kind of ends up it's going to be all over the place exhibit a and uh what else so yeah you can make like sprays with this like you can do with the paper glazes you can use them as like a water color wash oh so many things and as i said i um I quite often make my own shimmer cardstock. So here's a little piece that I've made with black pansy and golden rose. And then I've added in a little bit of the full gold. And let's see if we can get this to, I don't know if you can actually see the sparkles, but there is a little bit of full gold in there as well. And I may never cut this up. I mean, I know it looks just like a black smudge, but I like it. I like it a lot. So that is the release and um, yeah, so I will link everything down below with affiliate links as well. So you can just shop to your heart's content. And then I thought as well, I might as well mention because today is the 14th. So today at I think midnight Eastern time, US time this is, um, the price for the Cardmaker Success Summit is going to go up. So up until now, there's been the early bird special for the VIP all access pass. So the summit itself is free. You get 24 hours to watch whatever presentation you actually catch. So it's, as well, did I mention this four days of action pack? There's like 25 plus speakers, i.e. teachers teaching classes. But if you upgrade to the VIP all access pass, you can watch the classes whenever you want you can start watching them right now if you were to purchase the vip all access pass as soon as that's all like set up and verified and you know click the button and da, 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 da. you can go straight in you can start watching the classes you can start collecting all the freebies and extra content there's some extra content for me too so um yes you can do all that and then you can keep that for basically as long as snap me some love is in business so probably like forever um, 
So don't forget to grab that. There will be a link down below in the description box for that as well. And um, as always, if you use my affiliate link, thank you so much. It means the world to me. And it's, you know, what keeps this whole shenanigans kind of taking over. And um, I was going to say probably pays for some therapy sessions as well. But no. No. Because going through rehab for crafting addiction. I said no, 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 no. Okay, right. So um, let's pretend I didn't say that, and um, let's just uh, enjoy. Okay. So I uh, I will be back soon again with um, more uh, videos. But um, if you are catching the summit, I will be on at one p.m. Eastern time on Friday the sixteenth. So that is six o'clock UK time and 1900 Central European time. And um, yeah, I really hope I'll see you there. All right, bye. Okay, you nutter. What is happening? I sweat to death do I do a video hmm. sweat to death <gasps> how flesh is here ago oh not This angle doesn't work, does it? Come on! 